Hey, welcome to day four of Morning Mana. We're talking about perseverance all week, and today we'll take a look at what can get in the way of us persevering well. Hebrews 12, 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Have you ever been encumbered when running? Maybe you had a bag on your back or some things in your hands, or maybe you place some weight on you for training purposes. Either way, there's a big difference between running free and running while being weighed down. Now, if you're like me, running by itself can be hard enough. I don't need the extra challenge of having things on me that's gonna make it even harder. And what the author of Hebrews is telling us to do is get rid of the things that's gonna make the race of life more difficult than it needs to be. He specifically talks about sin. And with everything the Bible says about sin, we know that remaining in sin is gonna cost us. It's destructive. And the book of James even says that when it's fully grown, it leads to death. Sin is not something we should take lightly, and it will prevent you from moving forward in the freedom God intends for you to have in your life. Sin is gonna weigh you down, period. Whether or not you are conscious of its effects, it's like throwing rocks in your bag while you're trying to run a marathon. You may forget that the rocks are there, but you'll still experience being held back because of it. The call is to run this race with endurance. There's already plenty in life you need to persevere through. Trust me, you don't need the headed hardship that sin inevitably brings. Fortunately, Jesus has already conquered sin and death. Because of his sacrifice, we are granted new life in him and we have hope despite our past sins. But when we do sin, we need to be active in repenting. That's how you cast aside the weights. 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If you have a habit of picking things back up even after you lay them aside, then I wanna encourage you to be open with some good friends and establish some accountability. There's good reason it's one of our nine healthy habits at Mana Church. The help you get from others will make a huge difference, not only in keeping the things that you shouldn't do, but also with remaining in the things that you should be doing. You've got a race to run, and God wants you to run it well. Sin will hinder you in your perseverance, so shed the things that are holding you back and keep taking steps forward. Love you, Mana Church. I'll see you tomorrow.